John got the boomerangs or the cape. So anyways, now we've beaten six dungeons. We gotta go down the seventh one. Remember that dungeon we found at the very beginning of the game? Yeah, it's time to go. Also, I really hope this is coming out in good quality. You can go up that ladder at the top, and that's uh, if you don't have the double gym, until you get to dungeon 5 and 6. Wait, no, dungeon 7 is this way. What am I doing? There we go. Jerk rats. Jumping on rocks. So yeah, remember this place like very beginning of the game. Let's go to it now. Dungeon seven. It's probably my favorite dungeon. The lava dungeon. It's got fire sharks in it. So yeah, it's advised to go up here first, though. There we go, we activated the chest. There are three items in this dungeon. All of which are required. Gotta kill these fire sharks. Or red sharks, whatever you call them. Whatever you kids call them these days. He's ignoring basically all the drops because they don't need them. We got the little coin thing. There's one other coin here that we gotta get. We gotta get both coins because there's two switches we gotta activate. And coins only work for one switch at a time. Yeah, let's get burned and lose like half our health. That's a great idea. I like that idea. I'm gonna go left first. Right first, not left. Yes, we'll glitch through the walls and go left. Box. Gotta break all these things. And there we go. Here's the rock men. They're a bit annoying. Especially in this room. It's in the last we've heard of you, Rockmen. However, the charge attack. Ow. You're gonna die. Okay. Yes. That was a victory right there. Aha! We've gotten the other coin. Now we can go get the, the last item. We'll save the last item of the game. We almost have a full inventory. In case you haven't been keeping track. You can outrun these boulders, no need to worry about them. Yes. Now this part is going to be a bit risky. If I die, I'll be cutting. I probably won't be dying though, it's not that hard. Just don't fall. It's my advice to the world. So here it's uh, 
Good idea to pull out the rolling flares, which look like shurikens in your inventory. There we go. And here we go. The, like, last treasure chest item. The other item's just the key, so we don't need to worry about that. And we can walk on lava with these fire shoes. So yeah, we are now the Jesus of Lava. Ow. Okay. Do not want to die. Alright, I think that's like the last time we gotta worry about things, yeah. Oh well, over here, I guess. Okay. We'll just take it the safer route. Since we got like... Like, two HP left. And actually, more like four. But things do a lot of damage. Things don't do one damage in this game. Except for poison. But poison does one damage repeatedly. Which makes it annoying. Anyways, now that we have lava shoes, we can go this way. And now we shall fight the boss. The wolf boss. The boss is kind of lame, by the way. No, it's cool. It's still kind of lame because it's basically the same thing over and over again. Yep, yep, this is the boss fight. It's, even you know, if you don't have the amulet, it can be quite annoying. He's dead. We got the eighth key, the final item. This is our full inventory. Saving. Attack. It's now time for the end of the game. We don't need to worry about falling in lava because we can just walk on lava. Nothing in the game is. Nothing in the game can hurt us anymore. We are like immortal, except not really. We can still take damage, but whatever. I can think I'm immortal because I can walk on lava. So where do you go when you have everything in the game? Well, once you get the eighth key, you go up here. I'm gonna leave this bottom section, we don't need to go back to it. And we're gonna go to the one screen over, that room I said was important. And here it is, the 8th dungeon. Once you get the 8th key, it shows up here.